Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Aladdin, Disney's new live action Aladdin is being released this weekend, so I thought it'd be really fun to go ahead and maybe start an Aladdin series. I know I've done Aladdin characters before, but maybe we can just do a couple more, redo them again, just in case we forgot. For example, let's start with Princess Jasmine. So let's go ahead, um, my Princess Jasmine tutorial that I had, the very first one, is four years old and it's not even her full face so I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and draw Princess Jasmine today. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start off with her overall, the face of her head, and it's just a regular kind of oval shape for right now. And then this one, we're just going to draw her from like... So we're not gonna draw her entire full body. We're just gonna do like the basic sketch of her face and like a little bit at the top of her body, like her hands are going up in this position. Kind of lay where everything is gonna go ahead and lay out. So we're gonna go ahead and draw her head and her head's looking off to the side. So we go ahead and draw that eye guideline. And then I'm gonna draw her nose guideline going this way. Her head is off to the side, so her neck is gonna come somewhere in the middle right here. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and draw like the tops of her shoulder. So she's kind of looking off to the side, so her neck should be coming off to this way. And her, her chin should be going in front of her neck like this, so her neck should be going off like this. And then what's going to happen is one shoulder goes this way, and then her chest is gonna go out this way. So if we lay out her chest and then we go down, same thing over here, coming down from this side, we're going to go down, and then you're going to make a circle here for her shoulder, one shoulder here, and then this is going down into her shoulder right here, but her one arm is going to go out this way, and then one arm is going to go up this way. So one arm's going up this way, so if it goes up, so if we circle that off, so I like to just imagine into sections, so we got the forearm and the upper arm, and then one hand is going outwards like this, and then one arm is going to go out like this. And then another, the other hand is going to go in. And then we're just going to bring down and we're not going to draw the into her entire body because we're going to run out of room on the actual page, but I'm just going to go to about here so we can get like the top of her pants and show how poofy they are and we can get her hair down to this way. So let's go ahead and look closer at her face. First position her eyes and I'm just going to bring down this eye guideline just a little bit more off to the side right here. Race the bit of the guideline that first one we went ahead and did. For her eyes, what you're going to do is you're going to go up. Now they're kind of an almond shape and it's all the way almost off to the side of her head and they're very rounded on the edge. But we still see a little bit of her head coming off to the side here. Okay, so you see how that is a little bit of like an almond. Now I'm going to jump off to the side. Now the eye guideline is there so we make sure that it's on the same level. So we're going to leave a little bit of space. You're going to go up and round down this one. So it's really rounded up here and then bring it down. All right. Now Jasmine's eyes go out and it goes off the side of her face and then we're going to bring this one down. Bring that up. All righty. Then I'm actually gonna go jump inside the left eye and give her that pupil iris area. Same thing over here, and jump over here all the way up into the corner and give that pupil iris area. Now the thing about Jasmine's eyes are they're super thick eyelashes. So you're gonna go really thick on top and make that thick out. It's one giant part of the eyelash. Right, same from over here, really thick eyelashes on top and it's like in the corner, you make like this very thick, so you go all the way to the corner, and very thick all the way on top. So let's go ahead and fill in, I'm going to fill in that pupil area, 
She's got brown eyes, so we leave that iris a little empty. Jump over here. Do the same thing, and then I'm gonna put the shine right here on this side, and the shine right here on this eye, and then you go ahead and you color in her pupil. Then what you're going to do is, what I like to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and circle down here where her nose is gonna go. So her nose is shaped a little bit differently. So I'm actually gonna go above right here of her eye and she has really thick eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and place one eyebrow above her eye right here because remember we have a little bit of a forehead showing off to the side. All right, and then we have this eyebrow over here that we can see a little, but it's gonna be mostly covered by our bang. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill in at least one corner. Now the reason why we went ahead and put our eyebrow is because her nose ridge is gonna go all the way down. So you start from the corner of the right eyebrow, go all the way down, and it's actually gonna go in front of that circle we made for her nose and it's gonna curve in front, and it's not too much of a point. All right, and now we're gonna ignore this little circle right here, and you're gonna go ahead and make her nostril, and a little bit of the side of the nose, the nostril flap, whatever it's called. We'll make sure that nose goes all the way down and it curves downward from her eyebrow. All right, so let's shape up her head a little bit more before we go to her. We, we go ahead and fill in her lips. So I'm gonna jump off to the side of her eye right here and we're gonna bring out her cheekbone, which it goes a little bit out and it goes right back in. And it curves in for her chin. And then you're going to actually keep her chin really pointy. And then the rest of her face is just gonna go right into that ginormous earring that she has. All right. So we can actually get rid of a couple of these guidelines. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a couple of these guidelines. After we are done filling in, what you are going to do for her lips is you're gonna curl upwards. You're gonna go right underneath her nose. And I'm just gonna make a curl for right now. You go up underneath her nose, see up, and then make, you bring out this side off to the top bring out this side, curve up, and then I'm going to drop down from there, go down, swoop under, and then go right into that dimple. Alright, so let's fill in her lips a little bit more. Now she does have like these two divots, like it goes up and down, so you see if I fill it in and bring it up, see how I fill in her lips. And it gives that, that two, like you see the division in between the two, the upper line. Bring down this side. Then I'm gonna go back to the corner. And give her the rest of that full lip. Now what I'd like to do is go ahead and piece together more of her hair. So we're gonna start from up here, a little bit above her nose. So we're gonna go this way, like way above her nose, but we're actually gonna go ahead and make the part of her, of her hair going this way. So this part is gonna go down and cover the top of her eyebrow right here. Alrighty. And then this part, is gonna go down in front of her eyebrow right here and cover that top of her head. So she's got two parts in each way, but the part is being divided by her headband. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw this head headband piece. It's like her little gemstone on top of her headband. 
and her gemstone is actually tilted upwards so where we can't we're not looking at it we're looking at the side of it so if you draw a circle on top of the circle we just made and then bring around that gold part of her circle you'll see it's like a turned up gemstone now I'm going to just draw through the gemstone bring this around jump on top of this part and then bring down this headband part right here bring this down and then this part's gonna go down this way now underneath her headband I'm gonna continue this part of her hair which is gonna go down and into her shoulder Jasmine has a whole lot of hair all right so then this headband, I'm actually going to go underneath where we made this part of her headband. Go underneath, bring this down, and go this part into her neck. So this part's going to go up. And then we're going to bring down this part of her hair down. So it's like one section, two sections. We got two sections here. And then I'm actually going to bring down this big ginormo gold earring. Bring it down. There's one gold earring and I'm gonna jump off to the side of her eye, bring out this one and circle back down. And we have another gold earring. All right, so this is, this is hair going around her gold earring and this is hair going around. We can kind of make this look a little bit more flowy and just adjust it to actually look a little bit more natural. And then on top of her headband, we're not going to go too far up. So starting from the right side of her headband, you're going to go up just a little bit and back down into this side. So it's actually going to go past the headband area. So we're not going to go way too high up, it's just enough high up like that. And we can make this look a little bit more natural. So look nice up here. The headband goes off to the side right here. It starts there. strands. There we go. And then you're going to bring down her neck. I'm going to go to her neck right here. Bring it down. Bring it inwards right here. And then jump over here. Bring this part of her neck more inwards. All right. Then we have a little bit of an area right here. And then we have her shoulder going up. So her shoulder is going to go up and down into her arm. All right, we're going to make this a little bit bigger. So we're going to go outwards a little bit more. Okay, and then we're going to jump off, off to the side. You're going to go down with this part of her shoulder. Go up. And then down. Now for her neck, you're going to go right here. I'm going to go underneath, bring up that necklace all the way to the top where it's going around. It looks like it's going around her neck. Bring it to a point. I'm going to jump back on the other side, bring this part down and go up back into that part of her necklace. Alrighty, so we're going to have to make everything a little bit bigger because we already drew a little bit bigger. So <laughs> I'm actually going to go down here and we're going to make this part of her arm bigger. Alright, what I mean bigger is just like we're going to start filling in a little bit more. So we're going to like bring this off to the side, go out for her arm. We're still going to circle around, see how we're just moving it off to the side a little bit to make her look more proportionate. and then her hand, already. And 
and then we're gonna go jump down to here and make this a little bit more proportionate. We're gonna bring it down and we're gonna bring this part up and go back into her chest. Now for her chest, you're actually gonna go right to where this armpit is. You're gonna curve out of the left armpit, go out, bring out her chest. And then I'm gonna go ahead, go back at the top of where we made that armpit mark. And you're gonna go make a little bit of a heart neckline. Go this way. And then for this part, you're gonna go right at the top right here. And you're gonna bring up this part of her sleeve of her actual top of her blouse, whatever, bikini blouse, top, crop top, who knows. <laughs> and then you're gonna bring this part down and you're gonna curve downwards. So we're gonna go back up into here and we're gonna curve this back up. So think about the top of her crop top, whatever it is. The shoulders are kind of like bells in a way where they're just kind of, you know, they lay on top right here. And we're gonna go right back down into her blouse on the other side because we're seeing the other side of her blouse right here. So we're gonna see her arm. And this is more, this is another piece of her body right here. So from her chest right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring out this part and you're gonna go circle in and back into this part right here. And then what you're gonna do is we accident this part of her chest here, we're gonna go ahead and accent right here as well. And you're going to accent right here. So for this part of her blouse, you're actually gonna bring it out from this side. You're gonna curve it around and you're gonna jump right below it and curve this around and then you're going to divvy up, like go right in the middle. So one side is stretched out because her hand is going upwards while the other is just kind of resting on the side because one shirt, one arm is going down. Now for the rest, we're just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of her midriff. So right here, you're gonna go in you're gonna go in because we just totally threw off our guidelines so you go in here and then we'll start to go ahead so in and then go out and then we'll go ahead and draw her pants but right now let's go ahead and finish this arm right here this arm is gonna go down and then her her upper arm her forearm right here gonna go out, curve in and make more of an elbow right here and her hand is still gonna go this way where it's going up so we just had to adjust a lot so I'm gonna go in and clear up a couple of guidelines another big thing about Jasmine is how her hair is going back here so we're gonna go underneath this section right here where her sleeve is and we have another section of hair that's just a rounded part of her hair and then we have a ponytail right here. And then we have her big, big part of her ponytail coming out back here. So we go around. So I'm just gonna go in. So you go out from the ponytail and in. And I'm just gonna circle that inward. So you go down and in right here. I'm just gonna circle this piece of hair, go out. There we go. Then from her midriff, we're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna go and bring down this part right here where we can see her belly. And so you're gonna go down from here in the middle. And then you're gonna, so you go down this way, but then you curve upwards. And then you're gonna jump out to the side and there's the waistband of her pants and it's gonna go down and back up.
and the waistband is going out on the side here as well. And you got a little bit of her waistband going down and then you see her belly button. And then the rest of her pants go down. And then we have one crease here and then the other part of her pants go down here. So you see we have one little crease of one thigh right here and then the other. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it down all the way to my paper. So it's gonna go down and I'm gonna bring out this part and then that part's gonna go down. And then this part is gonna go straight all the way down. And it's actually because her foot is kicking up a little bit. So if I go ahead and I round this part right here, like her foot, so big baggy pants. And I'm gonna go around and I got a little bit of a crease here. So it goes, it circles in and you make a crease here and then you make this crease, this round part here. And you're actually gonna go back towards the middle go down here I'm gonna bring this down so I go in the middle box off this way and I'm actually gonna go and circle right back in so you see I started to make her shoe by going out and in and make this nice and boxy and then this part round this down and I'm gonna round this part in and this part in And then we've got her shoe. And so if you round this part, and she's got those funny looking curly shoes, kind of looks a little bit like Jeannie's. There you go. Let's go ahead and draw her hands. So this one is going out. So we have the overall shape. So you definitely want this shape right here. So we're gonna give her like those froofy princess hands. <laughs> so you're gonna start with the thumb. So I go out box this up, curve it in, and go into her palm. Then this part of her finger is gonna go out. So I go out, bring this down, and you have the hand, one forefinger. Then you have the middle finger, so you go up and in, back into the hand, back to where the thumb is. And then the ring finger along the side, and then the pinky is along the side. So from the pinky, you're gonna go straight down and you're gonna curve back into her wrist and you're gonna make her wrist a little bit more skinnier and shape up her forearm just a little bit more. Make that elbow a little bit more pointed and you're actually gonna get rid of the crease of that line there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and curve this part of her hand right there. Now for this hand, for this hand right here, you're gonna make a little bit more of a box. Curve that one out and go in back into that, that elbow. Now this one's gonna be a little bit more tough because the actual thumb's gonna go out And into that hand. So we go out, in. I'm going to curve this thumb down into that rest of her hand. So this hand's going to go out and in. And this goes into that wrist. Now her one forefinger, like her pointer finger, is going to go. It's curved in. So we go out from this part of her thumb, box it off, and go down. Then I'm gonna go up through the finger, like right alongside that pointer finger, and make the middle finger. So you see I go up, middle finger, go down to that line, and I'm gonna go right next to that, 
the ring finger, make it a little smaller in length, go down, and then I'm going to go out. And you see that's typically the princess hand look. So I bring out, round this out on the side. You still want that box, boxy shape at the corner. Round off. Then bring in this part of her arm, round it, and then go right back into here. And there we go. So I'm gonna shape this up just a little bit. And there's how to draw Princess Jasmine. It's been so long since I've drawn Jasmine. Gosh, I just cringe at the first one I've ever drawn ever. So <laughs> the best thing to do is to go around and make her hair look a little bit more natural. So I'm just going around and I'm just adding darkness to her hair and to her eyebrows. Just gonna go around and do that. There you guys go. There is how to draw Princess Jasmine from Disney's Aladdin. I hope you all go see the new live action Aladdin. I know I'm gonna see it, I'm so excited. Yes, I know it's not the new live action looking Jasmine, but hey, if you get inspired after, after watching the live action Aladdin, hopefully you'll go and draw Jasmine. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye.